As a result of the hostage situation, though, the FBI and the Department of Homeland Security are warning all faith-based communities to remain alert after what happened Saturday at Congregation Beth Israel. Jack Fink speaking today with the North Texas rabbi about this ongoing need for security as well as the anti-Semitism that makes it necessary. Well, it's not unfamiliar. Rabbi Andrew Paley of Temple Shalom says he and others in the Jewish community have remained alert even before Saturday's 11-hour-long hostage situation at Congregation Beth Israel. That night, he helped console some of the hostages and their families. Paley welcomes the stepped-up patrols by Dallas police. We are just, you know, just so grateful um, for the support of, from the mayor's office, from, the, um, from our local uh, police. For years, area synagogues and Jewish organizations have spent thousands of dollars making improvements to their security measures. Rabbi Paley says it's a balancing act between keeping people safe and making sure they remain a welcoming place. Um, we pride ourselves on being that place, and, um, and yet we know that there are um, there always a, an element of, of possibility I'm out there. Jeffrey Cohen, one of four people held hostage, told us their hostage taker chose the synagogue because he believed in the anti-Semitic tropes that Jews control the world and that he thought it would help gain the release of atheist Siddiqui, who's serving an 86-year sentence in a Fort Worth prison for attempting to murder U.S. soldiers. It's just a reminder that um, there's a lot of work to do to uh, uh, combat that kind of thinking. Rabbi Paley says the answer is continuing the efforts already made by many faith leaders, including Rabbi Charlie Citron Walker, whose life was threatened Saturday. Well, I think we, we take a, a, a page from, from Rabbi Charlie's leadership um, in building bridges across faith communities and people who we wouldn't necessarily ordinarily have a chance to interact with and learn from and so on and build bridges and build relationships. In Dallas, Jack Fink, CBS 11 News.